What's up guys, welcome back. Today I just want to talk to you guys about how SGU literally just changed their school curriculum this term and how that's going to benefit you and what that means for you. Are you coming in or are you currently in school right now? Let's go. First, we're going to check out what we did during the week. Let's try it. The new SGU place, they uh, Boca Lupo, and they closed down something. This used to be the old Sugar Shack. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Apparently, the coffee is really good, the pasta is really good, and the pizza is supposed to be really good. What are you getting, man? Hey! What are you getting? Just, just a little cappuccino. Yeah? You're not, you're not eating? <laughs> what do you get? You got iced latte with chocolate and blueberry muffins. How is the latte? Tastes okay. like a latte from Starbucks. <laughs> How much was it? This was 10 EC. 10 EC. Not bad. ADC. This muffin was AEC? Wait, am I doing my math right? I gave it a hundred and I got 82 back. Good. Okay, yeah, 18. Muffin's good? What do you guys get? We got pesto, shrimp, and chicken. Pesto, shrimp, and chicken. Oh, this is chicken, that's shrimp. We gotta swap. Wait, what? Chicken. That's, uh, I'm chicken. Where's the shrimp? Shrimp. Where's the shrimp? Where's the shrimp? Right here, that's the shrimp. Oh, there's a shrimp. There Here's a baby shark. Okay. Pesto. Hey, sus. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. Try it. Oh my god. Try we gotta try it. I don't know. You? We don't, we don't know you like it? Pesto. That's good. Yeah, ten god is a good chicken, right? Because chicken is 25, mm -hmm. and shrimp is 30. That's, uh, that's kind of pricey for me. <laughs> it's steep. That, that, that's it's a steep free. price to pay for yeah, good free. pasta. Alright guys, so that was pretty much how my week went. Um, I'm also dealing with like an ear infection right now in my left ear, so it's really annoying. I can't hear anything out of my left ear. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So let me put this up on the screen for you guys. Real quick. Three, two, one. Alright, so this is literally the email that I got. It was on like August 21st right here. Um, so pretty much a few weeks after school started. Uh, you guys all know I'm currently at term 5. Um, so let's see what it said. So it said, students, uh, the standards change for school of medicine, MD program, okay. So all science sciences within three years of matriculation. Uh, so here's the kicker right here. To be promoted to the next term, a passing grade in the course must be term 1, 70%, term 2, 72%, 3, 4, and 5 is 73 percent. Okay, so that's one of the big change you guys didn't know before that you guys talked to any upperclassmen. What used to happen was that so you needed a 70 percent or higher to pass term one when you were term five, uh, when you in the old curriculum, right? And then for term two to five, you also need to pass the term in the 70%. But what happened is we also have a cumulative weighted GPA. Okay? And what this number means for us is that out of all the five terms, we this would always need to be over 75% to pass. 
I'm sorry for my terrible handwriting, but uh, just bear with me. Okay, so I think back then, even if you pass term one, and two to three to four to five with like a seventy percent or something, you could not move on after term one if you didn't have a cumulative of seventy five percent. Isn't that crazy? So let's say you start term one, you barely pass with like a just different color. Let's say you barely pass. Let's say I barely pass with seventy two percent. That means term two. In order to move on from term two, I have to get at least like a more than seventy five percent in term two in order to pass. So I need I need to get at least like a, like something like a. Maybe like uh, maybe eighty percent, maybe seventy eight percent or something to pass. Okay, and that's to keep my cumulative at seventy five percent. And then what happens is, as you go on to term three and four, you also need to keep the cumulative GPA of seventy five percent, and also for term five. Okay. So the problem here was that a lot of people take a GPA hit for term three and four, so they might may make make it through the the term of seventy percent or something, and that, that's gonna make term five harder. So then a lot of people choose to repeat term one and two, so they can get a higher uh, cumulative GPA. Okay. So, that's pretty much the gist of it. So now, with the new curriculum guys, you don't need that. They cut out no more cumulative W, GPA to pass. You only need whatever number these are each term in order to pass. Okay, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons real quick, but I think this is a great step uh, in the right direction for us, SGU especially. Okay, so one thing I want to point out here also is they said this down here this transcript will not change to pass and fail. It's in effect only for incoming term one students from fall 2019. So, what does this mean for us? So, you term two to term five that enter school that, uh, at, you know, currently in August, was this fall 2019? That means our transcript won't say pass or fail, but we still get this uh, benefit of the 70, 72, and 73% to pass. No more cumulative GPA to pass for term two to five. So that's good a little bit for us. Um, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit why people doesn't like that uh, in my term. Um, and some, why some people does like it and it's actually benefits them. But term one for you guys, literally, if, if I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment, but if you guys have your uh, syllabus or something posted up, that means you guys are gonna get a pass-fail only transcript when you guys graduate. So this makes SGU just like a pass-fail, true pass-fail medical school in the, U in the US. So this is amazing. Um, I'm so jealous of you guys, and uh, yeah, all right, so what does this mean for the next step? Let's say if I was a term one again and we had this change in the curriculum. I would love this. Um, if you guys don't know, I love using Zanke for... Uh, I love using Zanke for um, studying. Um, I focus solely on step prep material, uh, going through first aid and stuff since like term one of the school. So. What does what how does this benefit you turn one and for you know everyone else if now you can actually be less stressed about the SGU grades, about getting the 75% minimum cumulative to pass each term. You have to worry about having the high GPA buffer in turn one, two, maybe three and four in order to pass turn five. Because a lot of people kind of sacrifice the SGU grades in turn five to spend more time studying for step prep. Now you don't have to worry about that anymore because they do not carry over each term. So you literally just need whatever number that was 71, 72, and 73% in order to pass each term and you'll be set. 
Okay, so this means the pros of this is you know, get to board prep for, since day one, as, long, as soon as you step uh, into the school and start the school curriculum. Okay, this will be less stressful for you, and this will make SEU a lot more similar to U.S. medical school. Um, so what are some cons of this? Uh, you know, some people, I honestly can't take many cons, but you know, some people bring up maybe like you can slack off and kind of just do the bare minimums each term. Um, just to pass each term and you don't really retain a lot of information and you don't, not learning as much as you should be. That, that I, get, I think that's a valid point. Um, this will also, another cons that it increase the cutoff for passing each term. It used to be 70% you can pass the term, right? But now you need 71% to pass term one, you need 72% for term two, and 73% for term three, four, and five. And the later terms actually get harder. You know, in term five, we literally only have one SEU uh, exam, and that's only 8%. That's only worth like 40 points of our grades. 45% of our grades can be the BSE. 35% of our grade for the term is going to be the CBSE. So making the 73% cutoff actually means that we really got to do well on the BSE and the CBSE. So this brings me back to my first point. That means it's even better that you guys have this new curriculum. You can start. It's good if you start board prepping from day one. But BSE 1, BSE 2, CBSE later. You don't have to focus as much on SEU lectures. Okay? Um, so this is a cons and a pro because now you can start studying for board prep earlier since ter uh, when, even in your first year um, a cons is that you'll be spending your time doing that instead of studying SEGO lectures uh, but this is I feel like this is a really cool uh, change in curriculum let me know what you guys think in the comment is this you guys like this um, you guys not want this why uh, you know, change my mind. Uh, I think in my next video, I'm gonna talk about how uh, I've been studying since term one and preparing for BSc, like board prep and stuff. And uh, so, I'll see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.